Romy Klein. When Romy was very little, she took ballet. After many early Saturday mornings and two recitals with Miss Lovin, she said to us, There is no running in ballet. I want to run. This is how her soccer career began, as well as her time spent playing basketball, participating in track, and running cross country. Many special teams come to mind. The Purple Panthers, the Patriots, the Rangers, and now the Raptors. There have continued to be early Saturday mornings, late night practices, road trips, teammates, and smiles. Our family has enjoyed every second of watching Romy run. Although the running for Lhasa will come to an end, we know there will be more soccer for Romy. College recreation and pickup games, as well as the shared love of the game with her future community. <laughs> Tess Frazier. In 2010, second grader Tess took to the soccer field with gusto joining the co-ed NASA rec team, the Fangs. Her debut on the pitch was marked by dramatic leaps down the field towards the ball without ever actually kicking it. Off the field, her main focus was on her disappointment with the team name that she felt was chosen entirely by the boys. In her words, Fangs by themselves do nothing. Without the animal behind them, they are worthless. The next season, she found her fierce and, and her home on the Ninja, an all-girls team that played together and stayed together through most of high school. What started in leaps and bounds ev evolved into wicked runs down the wing, and Tess developed into a strong defensive player on her Westlake D1 team. Tess played high school soccer as a freshman and then joined the team again in her senior year. All told, this, de this decade-long journey has been full of competition, pre wrap teamwork, tears, and triumphs. The greatest of which might be that as a loss of Raptor, she is finally on a team that is no longer focused on the fangs alone, but the animal behind it. Andra Key. Andra has spent her whole life and soccer career in Austin. She has played soccer since she was four years old. It was great to have Andra return to goal this year, following her successful freshman varsity season. Andra has also played French horn for the past seven years at Keeling and Lhasa. She looks forward to carrying those and many other interests on to college next fall. Many of her teammates greatly appreciate the stretch fudge that Andra makes. <laughs> Abby Goff. <laughs> Abby started playing soccer at Montessori Preschool. Even at five years old, the coach said there was nothing said she was the most aggressive little kid she had ever seen. There were certainly a few crying little soccer players that Abby had run over in her excitement to get to the ball. Once in elementary school, Abby quickly noticed that the boys took over the soccer games at recess time. This led, at, a, at first, to a few tears, but Abby finally just got mad and gathered as many girls as possible and made a very strong statement that girls can and are going to play soccer at recess with the boys. And the boys are not going to keep the ball away from the girls. And we are just as good as those darn boys. It worked. And a lot of girls had a lot of fun playing soccer at recess afterwards. Many years of club soccer followed with all the time commitments and injuries that so club soccer entailed. 
soccer in middle school and high school has been a constant source of joy for her. Oasis Aguayo. Oasis Aguayo is one of the captains of the Lhasa Varsity soccer team. She has been playing soccer since the age of three. She has had the pleasure of playing for the Lhasa and LBJ Varsity team all four years. She plans to attend Wellesley College to study computer science and engineering. One of the best memories of Oasis's Lhasa soccer career is her goal against Austin High during her freshman year that resulted in Lhasa's victory. The presence on the back line will be greatly missed next year. <laughs> Sophia Syed. A broken finger, a sprained knee, and maybe a concussion or two. Since elementary school, soccer has certainly extracted its share of bumps and bruises from Sophia, but it's given her much more in return. Along the way, she's been fortunate to learn from several terrific coaches, including Coach Cardinale, and also to secure many post-game snacks for her little Ga Ga brother Gabriel, who also plays for Lhasa. Once she reached high school, this team helped Sophia make the transition from uncertain ninth grader to confident senior, who is now ready to shoulder the responsibility that, become, that comes with being a young adult. Sophia started playing soccer at age 6 in South Austin and she finishes this phase at age 18 as a Lhasa Raptor. And let's not forget the Jaguar. Next year will usher in college, so don't be surprised to see her on the field somewhere playing the sport she loves. Abigail Jackson. Abigail Jackson has enjoyed playing soccer for 14 years. Her competitive debut was with the Sparkling Mermaids in 2007, and she is proud to end her career with a loss of Raptors. Abigail has enjoyed the team spirit, the competition, and the activity, and the lifelong friendships that soccer has brought her at every level. Abigail is looking forward to college next year and hoping to play rec soccer while there. She would like to thank her mom and dad for coming to all her games and for always being her biggest fan. Thank you for coming to the senior night for the Lhasa Raptors 2021 class.